Welcome back to the Conscious Channel family. Glad you can join us. Today's video, we're going to talk about four tips. Yes, four tips to keep you motivated. Today's quote is brought to you by Muhammad Ali. To be a great champion, you must believe you are the best. If you're not, pretend you are. Tip number four. Tip number four is surround yourself with successful people. See, when you put yourself around positive people that have the same positive attitude, what it does is it enables you to remain focused, motivated, and stay on task to ensure that you can complete the task to your best ability. When you surround yourself around successful people, it rubs off on you. It puts you in a space that makes you want to be successful, especially if these successful people are willing to provide you information in which you can apply to your life, not just overload information. When you're around successful people, it's not about the point of trying to emulate them, trying to sound like them, trying to be like them. It is being able to take what you've heard and seen and create your own brand, create your own success. Whatever success is identified in your mind or your vision, that's what you take. I'll close on this particular point of surrounding yourself around successful people. Always remember, listen more than you talk again. Listen more than you talk. Active listening is going to be your key attribute when you're around successful people. Take note. Tip number three. Tip number three is very important. Um, I should have put it as number one, but I wanted to say something that I think that you're really like for tip number one. So tip number three is developing your mindset. I know, here I go again about this whole mindset. Mind over matter. Mind over over negative thoughts. Yes, over negative thoughts. See, your mind is a powerful tool. I just wish people could grasp that concept even more. You can change the mood at any time of your life. I mean, you can go from happy to extremely sad by just your thoughts. I understand there are challenges. No one's immune to that. We're all gonna be faced with challenges, but it's the mind that helps you navigate through those challenges successfully, I'm going to provide you some tools that I think will definitely be inspirational as well as give you that uh, when you get up in the Okay, here's one of the first tools that you can put in your tool belt. When you wake up in the morning, first thing in the morning, I want you to listen to two, yes, two inspirational videos, no longer than 10 minutes at tops. So that's 20 minutes of your time before you even got started on your day. Step two, after you finish listening to your motivational videos, for the next two hours, you're not allowed to read anything negative, watch anything on TV negative. You say, well, why not? Why can't I watch the news and see what's going on? I'm glad you asked. Reason why is because I want you to be able to reflect on the information that you listen to and then I want it to seep into your mind to prepare you or to have you ready for whatever information that negatively that you may encounter or are going to have to embrace. Here's my final step within the tip number three. What I want you to do is know and understand you will and I repeat, you will suffer some type of pain, but make sure you have a different outlook on it. Tip number two. Tip number two is find a mentor. Finding a mentor can help keep you motivated as well as they can help you eliminate the long steps or the long processes that you would normally face. I call a mentor a lessons learned. I like that. I like that. Lessons learned, you know, lessons learned to me is like a tutorial of sorts. It really shows you when you should pivot next time or make a better decision based on the information you already know. So that's what a mentor does. They have information you need to know that they've learned. Okay, I'll close on this tip here. With a mentor, they are really a good source of information. If you find the right mentor, if finding the right mentor, you got to, you have to vet them. 
and find out where they've been and where they're going and what are their next steps in life. Number one. Tip number one is work value. Like, work value? Yeah, you're going to get this work. No, it's the work value, meaning I like what Eric Thomas said. He said, what's your why? That's heavy. What is? So I changed it. I remixed it and said, what's your work value? Are you really ready to fight for your dream, for your vision? Are you really ready to go through the heartaches, the pain, the frustration? Are you ready to be told that it's not possible? See, what you're going to have to do with your work value, you're going to have to make it count, make it stick. You see, I like what Jim Rohn said when he talked about when he was chasing his dream, when he was working his full-time job and he was working on his part-time vision. I don't think you got that. Let me slow that thing down. I said he was working on his full-time job and working his part-time vision. I hope that you got that. I'll break it down even better for you. Let me break that down for, for you. You basically want to get profits versus wages. I'll say that again. You want to get profits versus wages. While you're working your full-time job, getting those, those wages, part-time, you want to start working and building your empire, developing the mindset and the capability of earning profits. Work value. These are my closing remarks on work value. You have to understand that you will, and I repeat, you will be against all odds. But it's not what happens to you. Is how you respond to it. And your response should always be, I'm going to keep pushing further. I'm glad you enjoyed the content. Hit the subscribe button right now. Follow us on Twitter at Conscious3. Again, Conscious3. This channel was built for educational purposes so I can learn from you, you can learn from me, and we can learn together. Stay determined, stay healthy, stay mindful, and stay disciplined. This has been Conscious, signing out.